This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will be glad and we'll be rejoicing in it. Hello, brother. So, my name is Brother Richard, and I'm so happy for Brother Kevin. What a wonderful God we serve. Well, you know, today we bring you the good news the good news of salvation that is based on the shed blood of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Today, Birmingham, we bring you the good news. The good news that our sins are forgiven. That Jesus Christ died on the cross you, Brother Kevin. for the remission of our sins. Praise the Lord. And all Praise that God is demanding from you is faith. Faith in what was achieved on the cross of Calvary. On a hill called Golgotha in the city of Jerusalem. On AD, <coughs> on the 3rd of April, AD 33, Jesus Christ of Nazareth was crucified for the remission of our sins. For the Bible says, Birmingham, that we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Like sheep we've all gone astray. Our flesh has taken over Amen. our mind. So we are sowing to the flesh. The flesh has more power over our mind. Everything that we think about <laughs> is about survival. It's about what we're going to eat. It's about how we're going to pay our mortgages. It's about sex. It's about politics. We are sowing to the flesh. For the Bible says that whosoever sows to the flesh, to the flesh he shall reap corruption. But we have to be born again, born of the spirit and of the water. For the Bible says that now the Lord is the spirit, and whoever is led by the Holy Spirit is the child of God. Flesh gives birth to the flesh. And the Spirit gives birth to the Spirit. Marvel not when I say Birmingham that you have to be born again. The Bible says that we, are, we have sinned against God. When Adam and Eve ate of forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden, Birmingham, sin entered into the human genome. Our DNA was contaminated by sin. We lost the glory of God in the Garden of Eden. We were covered by the Kevod Elohim. The light of God that was covering uh, Adam and Eve was lost in the Garden of Eden. The flesh came out. That's why you are always hungry. You want to be, you, you want to fight. You worry about everything, anxiety, because the flesh now <coughs> has power over your soul. But the mind, which is your soul, is between the flesh and the spirit. If your mind, if your soul leans towards the flesh, then you reap the flesh. If your mind leans toward the spirit, then <coughs> you'll be able to do the righteousness of God. Because from the spirit, you have the wisdom of God and understanding and knowledge and revelation and peace and you have the discernment of the spirit you be able to worship for God is a spirit and those that come to him must come to him in truth and in his spirit now because Satan cannot enter into your spiritual chamber okay he has chosen to corrupt your flesh he has given you the lust of the flesh. He has given you the pride of life. And he has given you the pride, the lust of the eyes. You lust after clothes. You lust after cars. You lust after women and men. You know, you give your body whatever it wants because it puts demands on you. That's the fallen nature that we have. That is the nature of sin. The word sin means Satan in nature. The nature of Satan in you 
is what makes you to last. It's what makes your body to put demands on you every day. Everybody's doing shopping today because your body lasts after good clothes. Your body wants to sleep in nice house. Your body wants to eat well. Your body wants sex, water, food, everything. So what are you now? You are relying on your five senses. You are devoid of any spirituality. So you are spiritually dead. Hallelujah. But the Bible says that you have to be born again. You have to be born again. The Bible says we've seen and fallen short of God. Like sheep have all gone astray, each one of us in our own ways. Hallelujah. But God has a good plan for you, Birmingham. The plan to prosper you and to give you an expected end. But how are you going to receive this if you are still living by your flesh? If your body is still ruling over you? The Bible says that whilst we are still sinners, Jesus Christ of Nazareth died for us on the cross of Calvary. The penalty of sin was paid for. That is when you, be, when you become born again. The Spirit of Jesus and the Holy Spirit will regenerate your spiritual chamber. So you have a clean spirit. You shall have a clean heart. And in that heart, the laws of Yahweh shall be written in it. Hallelujah. So you become the temple of the Almighty God. No religion can give that to you. Hallelujah. So Birmingham, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he is a Messiah and a Mosiah. A Mosiah is a savior, one that saves man from the wrath and judgment of God. When we tell you, Birmingham, that you need to be born again, it means that your sins have to be forgiven. It means that you receive the Holy Spirit. So now you are transformed because the Holy Spirit that works in the inside of you will transform you from the inside. You shall start to love the laws of God and meeting them. Hallelujah. And then the Bible says you'll be saved from God's wrath and anger. Nobody can save you from the righteous judgment of Yahweh because of our sinful nature. He says in Isaiah 43, 11, that I, even I am Yahweh, beside me there's no savior. In Hebrew he says, Enoki, Enoki Yahweh, were ye in me, Baradai, Mosiah. Nobody can save you from God apart from himself. That's why Jesus Christ, the name Jesus, <coughs> comes from a Hebrew word, Yahushua, Yahweh Shua, the salvation of Yahweh. So when Jesus walked in this world, he was Yahweh himself walking, saving the world. Hallelujah. That is Yahweh as a savior. So when Jesus said that before Abraham was, I am. Hallelujah. What does I am mean? He said, I am the light of the world. I am the city built on the hill. I am the lamb that takes out the sins of the world. I am the good shepherd. I am that I am. Though that is the name of God. When God met Moses on Mount Sinai, Moses asked God, that what is your name? And he said that my name is I am. In Arabic, the name of God is Anna, Allah de Anna. I am that I am. And he said that this name shall be a memorial between me and you, Israel, forever. Since the time of Moses, our God Yahweh has never been known by any other name. He is not Anasubu Anna Watala. He is not Molech, he is not al Uza. he is not al Manat. he is not Be'ezebah, he is not Baal, he is I am. So when Jesus came, he came in that name. That's why in Hebrew we say that blessed is he that comes in the name of Yahweh. So Jesus came with that name, his name is Yahweh's salvation. And that's why he said that whoever has seen me, has seen Yahweh. 
Because I am Yahweh, I won. But the body that Yahweh was wearing, because the Bible says that in Christ Jesus, Yahweh himself was in the world, reconciling the world unto himself. The body that Jesus was wearing, that body is the lamb that takes away the sins of the world. That body is the body that was put on a cross. That body is the body whose blood paid for your sins. The blood of Jesus Christ quenched God's anger against every sin that you've ever committed in his speech, in his thought, and in actions. Sin lost the power of a human beings on a cross of Calvary. What humans need to do now is to believe. <coughs> the Bible says, this is our Christian Shahada Bamiwan. It says that if you believe in Jesus, 